Thank you. My name is Aqua. I train under Master Ericus. And I'm Mickey. I used to be Yen Sid's apprentice. I came back to him for some more training. I sense light within this girl. You think that's why they attacked her? Yeah. I think you might be absolutely right. If you ask me, she must be somebody pretty extraordinary. Yes, I'm quite certain she's someone we're supposed to protect. Let's join forces! Oh no! Not now! <laughs> I'll be okay! <laughs> See you real soon! <gasps> Here! Are these for me? I picked you some flowers. Thank you for saving me. Oh, they're lovely. You're so sweet. My name's Kyrie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Aqua. Kyrie, about that light. Kyrie! Oh. Oh, Grandma! Wait, Kyrie, just a minute. I just cast a magic spell on you. One day when you're in trouble, the light within you will lead you to the light of another. Someone to keep you safe. Thanks! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. Oh. Uh, bye! <laughs> hey! Grandma? Hmm? What is it? Could you tell me that story? <laughs> Again, dear? Please. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. Darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. <laughs> With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child. Even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Mm-hmm. Kyrie, something tells me I didn't run into her by accident. On first, it never ends. Over there. Then Red, Terra, Aqua. <laughs> Come on! Huh? Huh? 
Got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh, yeah. I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. You mean us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Ven. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. He'll never badmouth Terra again. You saw the boy in the mask? Uh, he... Yes? Venetus. Ven. You let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You should have put yourself so close to the darkness. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Aqua. Terra would never- You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only... Aqua? I get it. Terra! Just stay put! <laughs> I'm on my own now, all right? Terra, please, listen! The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. You're awful, Aqua. So now you know the truth. But the Master loves Terra. And you know that too. Were you also ordered to take me home? <sighs> Aqua, now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. I'm gonna go find Terra. <sighs> As I said it would happen, here's the third one. That book is almost more trouble than it's worth. Uh, uh, Say no more. The book you need to awaken the powers within you is just inside. Read to your heart content, my dear. I'm the third? Terra and Ventus were here? A mask? You're the boy that Ventus mentioned. Ah, yes. Ventus. Tell me something. Has he learned to put up a decent fight yet? What do you mean? I'll be asking the questions. And why shouldn't I? After all, between the two of us, I'm the only one who'll walk away from here alive. <sighs> yes, again! Who are you?
Not bad at all. Congratulations. I'll keep you around. Never hurts to have a backup. I have to stop him. Before anything else happens to Terra and Ven. Aqua! Ven! Were you able to find him? Yeah, but... He's gone. Right. Then I can't stay here. Let me go with you, Aqua. No, Ven. Do as I say and go home. Uh, why won't you let me? I don't want to put you in harm's way. You understand? The mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giastes. Huh? What? Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bona fide hero is uh, offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero. Bona fide or. So What's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! You? Oh, now that's a shame. Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruitball Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Unfirst are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. You rather fit them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit ball. Huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. Do not fear, I am on my way. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait, but uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless. But I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works. <laughs> 